here we are, and here's the star, Dorothy Knauss, and we're going to take her for a, this is your life ride through Mukunji. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say? How about that? Hmm, that goes a long way back. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Lorman, you can start over again. Mr. Lorman lived here and his mothers and sisters right. lived in here. Mm -hmm. George Lorman. And he lived in the house across the right street. Here. This corner house. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who else do you remember lived around here? Well, now let me see. Uh, the Hubers. Oh wait, the Hubers lived down next to um, my house, my parents' home. So you lived down further a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Like down towards Solomon's further? Uh huh. Or? Not far. You're almost on top of it. Okay. This is where uh, the Hubers lived, and this was my parents' home right here. This one? Uh huh. Oh. And that was my grandmother's house right next door where I said the Hubers lived. Oh, so this is your house here. Uh -huh. And your grandmother's the one in the back was that was one. Mm -hmm. ah. That's a big house. So 129. Mm -hmm. 129 Church Street. And you know, 129 Hemingway Street was my address in Boston. Wow, that must have been a good number for you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I recognize this when I saw it the first time. This was just one building just on this street? Just one building. And those other street houses weren't here? Oh, yes, but oh. I mean, see, all this oh, is, yeah. has been added. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. This whole big thing, right where you go in where the columns are, that's mm -hmm. all there was here. Mm. And this was fields, just yes. fields here. And what about these houses down the street? These were the all The next up here? one uh, was the parsonage for this uh, church here, mm -hmm. this Baptist church. Where did you take your first music lesson? I'll show you. Okay, is that on this it's street? It's on the Main Street. Okay. okay, we're now on Main Street, and this house was where you had your first music lesson? That's correct. With Alice Shingler, you mm -hmm. said? My aunt. And it was your father's sister? Right. <coughs> did your father play any instruments? Played trombone. Yeah, you said there was a Mukunji band or something? That there still is. And he uh, played in that, is that right? Mm-hmm. Oh, he sure did. And that was where the doctor lived. Now that's apartments. That Dr. One, Erdman. That one there? Mm-hmm. Dr. Erdman was a, uh, well first it was the father and then the son, and uh, it was one of those things. Mm-hmm. And how about the, this used to be the post office here, right? This building here? Yes, it was. That's right. And what else do you remember? Well, now down farther is where my grandfather had his home and office. Which one is that? Down on the other side. Okay. Where it says Debbie's store. Uh -huh. That was my grandfather's office. Uh -huh. And where it, where it says uh, MEA's groceries, that was their home. Oh, I see. They lived right next to the office. And uh, what was his office? He was the. He was a. Uh, the squire, did you say? Yes, he was the squire, magistrate, whatever you want to call him. Mm -hmm. The oldest one in the state of Pennsylvania. Hmm. And now, uh, this was McCunji Print Shop over here. Mm hmm. And that was your uncle. Yes, that was my grandfather's brother. My grandfather's brother. And you said Oscar. his initials were O.P.? O.P. And your grandfather was O.J. O.J. Canals. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oliver and Oscar. Mm. Your grand great-grandparents must like the initial O. I guess. <laughs> Where did they come from? Right here. They lived in McCunji, too. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, any any other landmarks along the street that you can think of? Nothing that would be of any importance. So the uh, Singmaster's owned this place. Yes. And he owned the lumber company. The East Penn 
foundry oh, these company. Pens. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Was he and the Singmasters that lived across the way, uh -huh. they owned the lumber yard. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. This is the Singmaster that owned the lumber yard? Yes. Okay. That's right. And which one you said had a black um, hand? The one, the other one. The other one. Mm -hmm. And that was the only black person in Mukunji when you were growing up. That's true. Mm -hmm. And for many, many years, many years. Mm -hmm. And had a chauffeur at all times. And oh. after he uh, was no longer living, he went into uh, the chauffeuring business. Really? Yes. Oh. And he still does this. Huh. Siegfried was his name. So anybody that's around and, you know, in Allentown knows the Siegfried Chauffeuring hmm. Company. He had a, oh, he must have had 30 people employed, chauffeuring people. And the, here's the school. Right here. And this is this where thing you, right uh, here. That's a church there, of course. Oh, this was a church? This is a church. Oh, it's apartments now, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, now it's a dental office. Oh, oh! Then they must have closed so the that church. Was, that was the church. Okay, I yes, thought that was. was the school. So the other, the school. The, the, is, the one in back it. of you is the is mm -hmm. the school. That's been added to too. It, it looked like a little. It, it had four Three rooms, four. and mm -hmm. it, they it was added upstairs on. and downstairs. Huh. Yeah, taped. when whenever I have it on, like right now, it's mm -hmm. taping it. Isn't that mountain pretty? Oh, beautiful. So, um, you said Rogers Place. That bar on Main Street used to be, uh, what was it, Dree's? What did they call it? Uh, I don't know what the name. It was a hotel always. I don't know the name of the hotel, but it was owned by, uh, it was known, you know, I guess the Dree's Hotel. Uh huh. And Irene Dree's parents owned that. That's right. Huh. They did. Isn't that something? And then they owned the one out, uh, they let that one go, and they owned the one out in Shimerville, mm -hmm. you know, at the... Uh, oh, they owned that too. Yes, that's uh, where, uh, what's her name's husband bought? Pame, yeah. Pame. Yeah. Now, of course, he isn't there anymore. Yeah, I don't think anybody's there right now. Doesn't look like it. I guess he couldn't make it go. Yes, yes, I used to play there when I was a child. At the Kalmbach estate. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty the way they... They had they uh, a it. couple of kids my own age. I mean, not those but the Kalmbach people, but whoever was there before I came. Okay, so these were your cousins, the New Moyers. Mm -hmm. And your grandfather put this... Uh, he, he bought the stuff. whole plot. Hmm. Oh yeah. Cousin and his wife, and this was uh, my uncle, and uh, his wife, and her daughter. They were the ones, uh, my grandfather and this uncle, and John down there, were the ones that had the Rims uh, uh, underwear factory. Oh, I see. Jack. Oh, you have your headstone already with the harp on. Look at that. Sure. That's what I wanted you to see. Too. Oh my. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it sure they made is. A beautiful job of it. Oh, it really is. Yeah. Now I'm not going to have uh, it uh, like that with the birth date, just the date of death. Just the date of death. Yeah. Let him guess. <laughs> That's the secret you take with you. That's right. right. Now, this is my father Nelson. and my mother. And that was uh, my grandfather who started the, the uh, business. And they made underwear for Sears. So. Mm -hmm. and, but they had other uh, customers also. Mm -hmm. But Sears was the biggest customer. Oh, they had many. That was uh, quite a big thing. And that was my grandmother there, Ida. Mm -hmm. Ida L. Renz. So the weeders owned this building and it was a box factory. Yes. That's paper right. boxes. Mm -hmm. Way back, that's yeah. an addition at the back there. It's quite large. Oh, this was your this was the underwear factory mm -hmm. then. That was a John Rams and Sons underwear factory. Hmm. 
ladies underwear mm -hmm. they only made ladies and you said your mother's uh, your mother's mother was a Herzog from the, the uh, Merchtown area I'd say it's the Merchtown area and yes. so this, this used to be the East Penn Foundry and uh -huh. there's Tyler Pipe and the McCungy Hotel used to be right here until they just tore it down that's the one that uh, the Singmasters owned, the East Penn Foundry. Oh, yeah. Do you remember anything about the McCungie Hotel that comes to No, mind? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I know one thing, after uh, funerals, they a lot of people had um, uh, refreshments yeah. afterwards, you know, and they would have it in this hotel. Oh. <coughs> And there was a lady up the line here, whether she knew the people or not, she would go to every funeral <laughs> and then go to the hotel for lunch. Dorothy Canals takes a front row seat for all of the band's West Park concerts, but she's not just a dedicated fan, she's also an Allentown Band alum. I would do it all over again if I could. Sometimes referred to as the Lady of the Harp, Dorothy began playing with the band in 1932. If you were to look up the word lady in the dictionary, I think Dorothy's photo would be right next to it. She's just a wonderful gal. For 67 years, she shared the stage with numerous guest soloists and conductors. But one thing certainly set her apart during that time. For 44 years, I was the only lady in the band. In those days, only men could play in professional bands, but former conductor Burt Myers had close ties with a well-known American composer named John Philip Sousa. Sousa's band included a female harpist, and Myers wanted to emulate Sousa's successful techniques. It wasn't long before Dorothy's name was added to the roster. They all treated me with great respect, and we had a lot of fun. Her elegance made quite a stir with audience members. For every performance, she dazzled onlookers with lavish gowns and intricate hairstyles. A lot of people have said to me since many, many times, we so look forward to what would you wear at the next concert. <laughs> but her keen fashion sense wasn't keeping her in the spotlight. Dorothy's musical talent paved the way for many exciting adventures with the Allentown Band. Well... I guess every time that I had uh, a solo to play, it was special to me. 